It's Bernie Keister with the Cricket Star Ranch. You don't get to do this very, very often, particularly with bulls. Um, I've got two bulls here that are both mature bulls. The one on the left, Caliente, is about a six-year-old bull. The buckskin bull on the right is about a three-and-a-half-year-old bull. Okay? Both of these guys are multi-grand champion animals and have pedigrees that are just rock stars. As a matter of fact, the buckskin bull, Semper Fi, his father is actually... I believe the first, maybe the second master grand champion, his father is, is, is Falam, but just a beautiful boy. You really cannot pick that guy apart. He is thick. He is deep. He's got a, he's got some great angularity to him. His, his hump is almost perfect. His masculine head from his horns to his face, to his forehead, down to his feet. Um, that rump is just just I almost picture perfect you really can't pick him apart i'm gonna move around so you actually kind of get a better idea of really how thick this bull is going across the top he's just an absolute um dream from from a confirmation standpoint i mean he is every bit of a bull um, but he's very well behaved um, really would make a nice addition to someone's herd he is not going to be cheap at all um, he is probably going to be one of the most expensive animals I have. Uh, but if you're interested in a, in, in a bull that will certainly um, give your herd some definition, this guy right here is it. Now, the guy on the other side, I, I'm going to talk about him for a second. Semper Fi is also a multi-grand champion. Matter of fact, I think he needs only one win uh, to become a permanent grand champion. He is everything that Semper Fi is not. This guy's a small, refined bull. Um, it's not as thick, not as not as wide, not as deep. Uh, but I tell you what, his advantage is right now. He is putting about eighty percent heifers on the ground. Just a beaut and, and, and puts beautiful calves. Um, he's very small, very small boned, um, but yet has a sense of masculinity about him. Um, when you move around to his head, you can see he's a very masculine bull. Um, and the nice thing about him, too, is even though he's small, he's very well proportioned. A lot of times you get some of these real small guys, and they're just not very well proportioned. But this guy is, again, he's, he's just, you, you just can't hardly pick him apart at all. And he also has a pedigree that is just rock star status. Again, he's not going to be cheap. Neither one of these bulls are. Um, but you know, a lot of people, a lot of people just don't understand how important the bull is. You have to remember these bulls are one half of everything that hits the ground. So if you're going to spend some money, spend some money on a good bull. Both of these bulls will do you some good. It's kind of interesting that we can kind of sit here side by side and kind of compare them. You really can't do this very often, but they're, you can see they're kind of posturing around. I've got some cows over in that pasture. Uh, and I think at least one or two of them are, are kind of in season. So, you know, bulls will be bulls. Uh, but they're, um, you know, both of these guys are halter broke. Both of them have been shown all over the country. They're just great. They're just great animals. If you're interested, give me a shout. 214-796-0877. Thanks.